Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. So first of all, I would like to apologize for uh, <laughs> making this video so late, but I'm currently traveling for work and um, I don't always have the internet where I am or it's not stable enough. And I'm working very hard, so I don't have much time. But I thought I would take some time to make this happen anyway. So in this video, we're going to create our first database on Devon Things. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I am in DevonThink and in order to create your first database, so a database is, I would say, to simplify a category. So you can classify information the way you want to, but it's kind of like a category and then you put your folders in to make it simple. So all the files that you see on my account right now are very easy to extract just as you would any other folders. So it's very simple. So let's get started and create our first database. So to do that, you're going to go to files and then new database. You will name your database and then what you will do. So we're going to create a test database here. What you would do is then choose a folder on your computer when you want to put your database. So what you don't want to do is to put your database on the cloud because it will corrupt your data. And so you're not supposed to do that. I put it on my home folder uh, and then I just created a folder within my home folder. So that's how I did it. So you then click on create and here is my database. So now that you have created your database, so I'm going to have another view or something. I'm going to click on here and go to database property by right clicking. You can uh, create a new database, close your database, which means that you it won't be visible anymore on this um, side panel here, but you won't delete this database. You can delete your database or you can click on database property. So let's just do that. Here you can decide um, if you want to exclude your group from tagging. Uh, in DevonThink, so let's create a Let's create a group just for argument's sake. So task group, whatever. So in DevonThink, you can also you can arrange your data either by grouping them or by tagging them or both, right? And so when you exclude groups from tagging, it means that your tag are a different tool for you to classify your information than a folder. So if you uncheck this the group will become the tag. The groups will become your tags. So if you tend to uh, tag your information, then that, that can be helpful. If you tend to use group, I don't recommend it. I tend to use both. So I exclude groups from tagging so that I can have both system working for me. Um, and then you can share your database if you'd like. You can also, and that is a very um, important feature in DevonThink, you can also protect your database. So you can name it, comment, so what is a description of your database. So even if you don't protect it, you can just write a little notes on what the database is about. And then when you are creating here a username and a password, just um, know that when you open your DevonThink app on your computer, it will then automatically ask you for this username and date and password. So even if you only have one database protected, it will ask you your password to open the entire app. So, you know, for me, I don't see the point doing that. My computer is pretty safe, but if you have really sensitive information, then that might be something you want to do. You also have statistics here on how many groups you have, you know, how many images, um, rich text notes and small groups and whatever. So it allows you to have a quick look on what your database um, consists of. So another very important thing is that obviously your databases are not really protected. Even if you have in the preference, you'll see that you have backup. 
you will have a warning message at the bottom saying backups contain only the metadata storage and search index. So which means you don't actually back up your actual database by using their, their backup system. So what you need to do is back up your information yourself. So in order to really back up my data and make sure that I always have a copy of all my databases, I use Arc Backup. I will put the link down below so you can go and check it out. There's other um, options out there, but I like Arc because first of all, it's a one-time fee, uh, $49.99, that's all. And I don't like monthly fee just like you, I guess. <laughs> Uh, so that's what my favorite feature is with Arc. And then the fact that you can use all your favorite cloud storage to keep your um, database safe. And it's automatic, so I don't have to think about um, saving anything. And I know that I have a copy of my database is saved somewhere um, on the cloud. It's also super easy to set up. Even I can do it, and I'm not the smartest pants in the room, so, you know. <laughs> so yeah, this is how you create your first database. You can then, after that, add your groups. So just click on this little icon here to add your groups. Um, so test number two. And then you can arrange your group as you like. You can tag them. So we'll see that in another video. But this is how simple it is to create your first database. So a few simple steps, click on file, click on new database, name your database, make sure the database is located in a file on your computer and not on the cloud, if you don't want your data to be corrupted. And anywhere you will receive a message, an alert from Devon thing that you shouldn't do that, so it won't be difficult. Uh, then click on create. After that, you know, right click, click on database property, decide how you want to classify your information. You want the groups also be the tags or you want to exclude them from tagging. Um, you can add a comment on your database and then add a password if you wish to do so. And in order to back up your data, I do recommend you another software called Arc that, uh, I've linked it down below for you, which is this argbackup.com. Uh, it's a one-time fee. You can back up all your information on the cloud this time if you'd like. And without even thinking about it, it will do it for you. There you go, guys. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, I wish you the best day. As I said, those videos are super short <laughs> and not the most professional, but you know, I do my best and I hope that was helpful. So I'll see you soon and have a lovely, lovely day. Bye-bye.